So you throw eight motherfuckers to the grave, six of them are going to buy, two of them are going to be bad credit. So I sold four cars for the fucking day. Jesus. It's just numbers. You just got to talk to them. You got to grab people. In those days, you had to hide behind cars and shit <laughs> and spook people. You think I'm fucking kidding you. You think I'm kidding you, dog. You got to stand by the door and put your hand on the car. Were you heavy then or no? No, no. I was in shape. You had to oh, drive in God. and put your hand on the door and walk them to a parking spot and greet them and then take them and fucking jam them in the ass. And then when they fucking got pissed off at me, I said, fuck you. And I just started whoring myself, going to different dealerships and going, let me talk to the owner. Listen, how many fucking specs you selling a month? Three. Well, we're going to kick that up to fucking 44. How? This is what we're going to do. You're going to do ads on the radio. I'm going to do them in Spanish. And that's all I did for a year. I'd work there for a month. I'd get an advance like five grand, pay the attorneys from the child support, all that shit I owed. And I just keep moving. Ralphie, man. It was amazing how many people I put together. At the end, I finally put together a used car lot. One of those fucking 60 cars in the lot they finance right. you. I got one of those jobs, and that job wasn't bad. They let me work my hours until one night the engine blew up on one of their cars. <laughs> how, what, how did the engine blow up? Dog, listen. Uh. In those days, with my luck, I was watching SWAT the other night. The guy goes to a restaurant. <laughs> he kills his uncle. He gets in a car. He gets pulled over for a fucking... A busted tail light. Right. That's the kind of luck you have when you live in those circles. You understand me? So in, in those days, anything I touch blew up. Blew up. Uh, Didn't I blow up Aunt Mani's car? car. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to talk about that. That's the greatest story of all time. <laughs> oh, going? my God. Oh, so uh, fucking dumb. <laughs> She was a dumb bride who was all in love with Josh Wolf, all right? And and, and and to get closer to Josh, this big-ass girl, she, she, she could only get like 500 for a piece of shit car. She, was getting, she got a new car, and so she just gave it to Coco. No, she gave it to Josh. Oh, she gave it to Josh, and Josh gave it to Coco, okay? <laughs> so, so I think we're over like a, like a bag of weed, okay? Oh he God. got a car, all right? So Coco lost... He he was dating the tooth and he fucking got no, no, pissed but, off no, at her. But tell him the whole story. The oh, car, I'm going to. The car had okay. air conditioning. It had power mm. windows. It was cruise. a little Nissan Cruise, but the brakes were a little low. Yeah. But what happened was she gave me the car with only a month and a half on the tags. So I used to sleep in this <laughs> motherfucker at night. Yeah. I would snort coke and go in that car, open the sunroof. I put a blanket over me. I jerk off into a sock, and I roll over and listen to air conditioning. Then I wake Ralphie up at nine and go eat his food. Yeah. So they the, once the and plates shower. expire, you always shower. Or at you the shower two store. times a day. Oh, at the you comedy store. You shower two, three times a day. At the too. comedy store, I would shower at nine when it opened, and then I'd go back about seven thirty before anybody would go down there because I didn't want Jeff to catch me naked in the piano right. room. That motherfucker give me a shot of fucking <laughs> piano dick. Ah! <laughs> That's a D minor. <laughs> that is crazy. So they kept giving, once the tags expired, there were these black chicks with the donut haircut, the donut do, the yeah. blonde with a gold tooth. I'll never forget that woman. And what she would do is she would look for that car. I used to watch her. Yeah. And she would just pull over and give it a ticket. Because that's what they do to expire tags. She would just pull off. She recognized the car. Yeah. That car had so many fucking tickets, but there was more story to dude, that Dude, dude, you had, you had red zone tickets. Oh, it was down Handicapped $10, parking $10, tickets. Okay, it was like $10,000 in tickets. Why didn't you just park in a better place? And because then, they'd still was, find no, they me. Still there was no better it. place. You park in El Compadre and they fucking... They'd still find me. How much did it take to register a car? I couldn't register it because she had the title. She never gave Josh the title. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, no, you have no idea. Oh, but bro. I took that car, dog. I drove that car with no brakes. For None. about two or three months. And you no always... brakes, no insurance, no registration, Wait, so... no nothing. Lee. Lee, you understand me? Lee, let me tell you, man. Okay, you knew Coco was coming because you heard the squeak of the fucking, of the fucking of the brakes. Man. So it was loud what as shit. When My you dog pimp would go crazy. It would just go, and smoke would come out of the tires. And I'd go all the way every day to Redondo Beach and back because at that time I was living in Redondo Beach. And I do 60 with that dog. You have no fucking idea. Was I remember being? How do you do 60 in a car with no brakes? Listen to me, dog. I remember they used to they used to do a contest in Redondo Beach on Thursday nights, and the king of the yeah. contest was Pablo Francisco. And when he would, I would look at the schedule when he was not in town. I go down there on Thursdays, 
with fucking enough money to get me down there in that car, Lee. It was a hundred bucks. It was a hundred bucks, fifty for second place, or a pizza for third place. Yeah, so and in the first place got free food yeah. and no, and no, no. Boats. I just wanted the hundred because I had to come back. No, and you got both. No, I didn't you even eat. Both. I didn't even eat. Oh was, man, I, we I, always did because we. And the winner is Joey. You ate Diaz. plenty of time because you listen, fucking eat it at my house on Thursday listen morning. Listen to me. In those days, when you put a hundred dollar bill in my pocket, yeah, there was Pew. no time for food. Pew. I shot to get the blow first, then we ate. Just to make sure the cocaine was there. Cocaine had to get. If I just made a hundred dollars, trust me, there's no food on my mind. No now, matter. I could be a fucking one of those Africans that's skinny with his rib cage <laughs> with flies all over him, and I'm still getting in my car and going to fucking Pancho's house and getting my grandma blow. Whatever's left over from the grandma blow, we're putting ten in the gas tank. <laughs> we're getting five for cigarettes. And whatever's fucking, you know, that's the mentality. In those now, I, 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 in your defense, I have to say that uh, every uh, Coco, when they towed his house, he was living in my place. They towed the car. And they, they towed, they towed the his car. house. And so I got my car towed so I can go in and get it, okay? And when I went in there, I got all his clothes and everything. And by the way, I checked the glove box, and it was like opening up one of them can of fucking snakes on springs. You know what I'm talking about? It, all them tickets fell out, motherfucker. Oh my, it was oh like God. an encyclopedia fell the fuck out. You I mean, a whole no like, all. I mean, it was just like a, it kept on coming. Like it was like you clear a bunch out, and it was still fucking a shit ton in there. So it was like one a day for like three months, dude. Three or the four whole a summer. day. Because the car got Three towed. Or four a day. The car got towed probably November. And I started with that car yep. in July or in fucking June. And they started ticketing me in mid July. And then I lived by Sammy Medina. What's his name? Jordan Medina on yeah. Vine. Yeah. Oh, bro, you have no fucking idea. I lived <laughs> over there where Ralphie first lived. Yeah. Ralphie moved out and then Joey needed a roommate. And I went over fucking there. You should have like, bought a new license plate or Off something. Off Clinton. Dog, there was no money for life. Do you not listen? You're getting $15 a spot. You're getting 40 at fucking uh, uh, Felipe's Mexican gig, room. Yeah. Mexican Rosemead, gigs. fucking yeah. um, Alhambra, West Covina. You bought clothes on the road. Corona. You bought clothes on the fucking road, Lee. You took a bus. They used to drive me to take a bus to El Paso. That was the Joe Diaz bucks. Express. To Joe Diaz Express Monday nights to be in El Paso. Pew. Tuesday morning at one in the afternoon. 